Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, well, I just got a pretty darn good idea from the uh, Waste Management Storytime. And, well, um, I thought about it. And because this year is going to be 10 years, come June, that I've been on YouTube, um, I thought about doing a bit of a 10 year celebration probably in june so while you know june is just a few months away it's only march so april may it's only like three months away so you know why am i starting these story time videos about my time being one death eater or at least the early days of one death eater when i could be doing it in june well First and foremost, I don't really have anything else to talk about. And when, when I do, you know, then I'll just eventually tell them. But until then, I feel like maybe now is probably a good time to tell you the very, very early days of being one Death Eater. Now, a lot of you don't know the story of one death theater and that that's definitely going to be told in june but i had a lot of things happen to me when i was growing up through high school and i didn't exactly start be, being one death theater until uh we we moved over um we mo moved over a county to go to a way better high school than there were in uh in in Cobb County, Georgia. Cause I had I had my options to go to Campbell or some other high school in the county. And literally half of everybody I knew was going over to Campbell and like nobody was going over to this other school. So I was pretty pressured to, you know, go to Campbell. But as soon as I found out, well, you're moving, and I was pretty much telling my telling my teachers, I'm not even going to be in this county next or next school year. So what am I even supposed to do? Um, and they pretty much just told me just circle one, turn uh, turn it in, and I just I just circled I circled Campbell because that's pretty much where everybody else was going. And, um, needless to say, from what I heard, um, or from what I remember is that that school had called my parents, um, I want to say after two weeks of not showing up, they called, they called my parents and asked, Hey, Where's Steven? Uh, and and they're sitting there like, um, who's asking? <laughs> He's going over to this school. He's not going over to uh, to Campbell. And they're like, oh well, we have here that he was supposed to show up at this school, and they had to explain the situation. We don't live in that county anymore. We live over in this county. But you know, that's besides the point. So, all in all, it, it, uh, the, er, the very, very early days of being one Death Eater was a bit of a gray area. I thought I could get away with being this alter ego of myself and maybe even showing up very, very seldomly or, or whatever. And only, I want to say, maybe a handful of people pretty much found out who I was and didn't really say anything about it. Um, but, you know, I, I, I can tell you that I was called a multitude of things while I was at school under the Death Eater persona. Um, but at, at the time, you know, I thought I was being careful. But turns out I, I was I, I did some very, very dumb things. And, you know, some of those dumb things are no longer on this channel anymore. 
I made sure to erase everything from uh, mentioning my old high school, uh, mentioning anything uh, about my old high school. And one, one of the things that were, that almost got my account deleted was the, this message that I did uh, against my old principal. Um, and this was some kind of misunderstanding because number one, I didn't know what was going on, but what happened was, um, uh, that all the girls were called to the, uh, auditorium for some kind of, um, sexual harassment or some shit like that, a uh, seminar thing. I can't remember what it was, but. I, I really can't remember, but it had to do something about, you know, sexual harassment or something like that, or something about, um, you know, stranger danger, you know, that, that sort of stuff. But I didn't know about it. And I'm sitting here thinking, oh, you know, all the girls in the school are being rewarded. And that was literally the entire rumor that was going around the school was that, oh, all the girls were being rewarded. And we, we were pretty much, well, we being me and my group of friends were pretty much, um, we're pretty, we were pretty pissed about it. And I made a stupid ass video, uh, talking about it. Uh, as the one Death Eater character and uh, come to school about two days later, my principal had found the video and told me, delete this or you're expelled. So I ended up deleting the video and my parents demanded that I deleted the account at the same time. That's one of the only instances where... Uh, this account could have been deleted. So, yeah. It was, it was a very, very tense moment, and I had ended up changing my password, signing out, clearing my uh, history full of passwords, and, um, and all that, all that, all that fucking crap. I deleted my cookies. I, I pretty much, um, you know, uninstalled Chrome or whatever browser I was using at the time. I'm pretty sure it was Chrome, but my laptop was pretty much taken away since my parents found out. Um, and I didn't get it back until the next month. So that was an entire month of not being on blog TV when, you know, it was still active. Um, With that being said, you know, I, I was very, very careful after that. I started doing Death Eater videos in secret because my dad wanted nothing to do with these videos. He demanded that I stop or I was never going to get my laptop back. Um, and there's, you know, another threat that if you don't delete the channel, I will. And that's what I pretty much deleted. Um, that, that, was, that was pretty much the longest time I went without uploading anything to YouTube. Whenever I did upload, upload something to YouTube, it would be at night. Um, so that, you know, nobody else is using the internet. And uh, whenever I woke up uh, the next morning for school, I would make sure that the video, that, that whatever video I was doing got uploaded, sign out of everything, delete my cookies, delete my password history, so on and so forth. And, you know, I was very, very fortunate that I had a pr easy enough password for me to remember. But, you know, if anybody was to ask me what my password was, I'd be like, I'm not telling you, that's my password. I had, I, I had a pretty good, uh, or at least I thought I had, you know, the high ground because what is he going to do? Beat me until I get my password? And then what? I'm just going to call the cops the next day and tell them that my, you know, that my dad had beat me. But 
you know, I, I'm, I'm very fortunate it didn't come to that. And now I have the highest respect for, for my dad. So, you know, big props to Pops. So, I think he still knows that I do these videos, but I, I do them very, very differently from when I was a teenager. So, you know, you know, I, I, I do apologize to my dad. Um, if he does end up watching this video and, <laughs> and, and, and sees the story and is just like, man, that motherfucker. So, you know, I'm not trying to like disobey my dad, but in a way I'm kind of glad I did or else I probably would have, would never see 640 some odd subscribers. Um, and then all the, you know, amazing support on Twitch and so on and so forth. So. That's, that's just some of the stuff that's really happened. A lot of the other stuff that happened in school, um, was just, uh, it's just old Steven being one death here and in doing whatever, but at the end of the day, I, I didn't really care, to be honest, you know, because after, you know, a lot of people found out who I was, I pretty much accepted it and pretty much just, you know, removed the mask and started doing my own thing. Um, there was, you know, a point in time in which I would change from doing the Death Eater videos to doing blog videos to doing video games, uh, Minecraft, so on and so forth. Um, you know, stuff that a very long time ago that I've done. And, you know, it, it's a lot of the stuff that I'm, I'm still very, very proud that I, I've done. Um, I feel happy that I've done, you know, that kind of stuff. And if I were to do it all over again, I most likely would, but in a completely different way. The one thing that happened reoccurringly, or at least throughout the very early years of being one Death Eater, was, um, well, being bullied. And, well, it wasn't that, you know, there was this big guy that was twice my fucking height and I was just pushing everybody around and, and just targeted me. It was more or less harassment than just a bunch of people just trying to, you know, bully me or set me off or or get me to make a video about it or, or whatever I did uh, I, I, I knew I knew better than to do that and I did make you know a video talking about it it was a message to somebody I think he was named I want eat yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was his name it was it was I want eat that was, it's the most stupidest fucking name I've ever, you know, heard of. And, you know, to this day, I'll never forgive them for pretty much what they've done. And, you know, it was because of their actions that got one of them expelled. Uh, and the other one, I have, I have no idea where the other one went. I don't know if he got expelled from the school or if he just ran off but you know it, it was it was pretty fucking stupid to be honest he the the main kid um which was this ginger dude that just hated my guts for whatever fucking reason i just never really understood why he didn't like me um but i i made sure to keep my distance from him because i didn't really care you know, but, you know, whenever he had attempted to, like, harass me or do whatever to, like, get at me, I would always just ignore him. And I would always make fun. What is that sound? What was, is, is the, is, is the air speaking to me? I just want him to shut up. You know, there, there was 
a point in time in which I really just wanted to fucking punch his stupid ass face in. And if I were to see him right now, I probably still would. Um, just because of the things that he did was um, unforgivable. You know, he would talk about me. He would talk about my little brother. He would talk about my my cats. He would, he would just talk about how he, how he would um, fuck my cats and then murder them right in front of me and my family. And I'm just, you know, sitting here thinking to myself, is this, is this guy on drugs? And he's talking about, you know, me and my family on meth. And I'm just sitting here like, dude, are you on meth? You're talking about fucking a cat and then murdering cats and dogs in front of me and my family? Are you trying to get yourself killed? Are you, do you want me to beat your face in? <laughs> so, you know, I just kept leaving it alone. But, you know, him and his, his, his posse kept harassing me. And, you know, it, it was to the point where I was pretty much done with it. Uh, during my official sophomore year, uh, which was my third year in high school, uh, my third year in high school, but um, it was my sophomore year. Um, I got fed up with it. I, I wanted nothing to do with him. I wanted nothing to do with his posse. They wouldn't leave me alone. They kept freaking, you know, pushing my buttons. They, they kept, you know, taking my things. I do remember at one point where they stole my backpack and hid it in some other classroom. Um, and I was, pr I, I pretty much had to lie to my mom and tell her, Hey, uh, I'm staying for, um, what do you, what do you call it? I'm staying for, um, some after school thing, um, tutoring. I think it was, that was, that was a lot of things that I had to freaking lie to, you know, there was a few times where I had to tell my mom, Hey, I need to stay after school for tutoring or some shit. And she was like, okay. Um, so, you know, that's, that's something, you know, I did very, very fr frequently, at least throughout that year until, well, until it all stopped. But, um, you know, after, you know, locating my bag, seeing that there was just some awful things done to it, like, like a few pockets were ripped out. A few of my things were just stolen and scattered around. Uh, that classroom, and, you know, one thing that I'll never, never, ever forgive is that they stole my, uh, they stole my journal, and, well, when I mean my journal, I mean my, my schedule, my daily schedule, or at least, uh, you know, my journal that I had, um, had all my, uh, homework assignment dues, my, or due dates, my projects, my live stream schedule, um, you know, a lot of that stuff. Fortunately, I had a lot of the same stuff on my laptop. So even after I got home, I was still reminded by my laptop, Hey, you got this, uh, you got this assignment due on Friday. You got a project due in this class on, uh, Monday or whatever. And, uh, next live stream is this Saturday at one. So, you know, I still had my journal, well, journal or schedule, um, but I did eventually find it back with a lot of dick drawings and a few pages torn out and a lot of scribbles, a lot of marking outs, um, just, you know, a, a lot of other stuff. And, you know, there was a few instances where I almost just went to the principal and just told him, look at this fucking shit. This, is, this has been going on for over a month and I'm getting sick of it. But, you know, I didn't go to an administrator until, you know, until I, th I think it was sometime before that event happened, before my notebook got uh, taken from me. I, I went to an administrator and I told him, look, Can you do something about this? These assholes are bothering me. They're bothering me at school. They're bothering me 
on my own personal YouTube channel. They're constantly harassing me. They're, you know, they're talking about me, my my brother, and my cats. Is there something you could do about it? You know, he he told the political correct thing to say. Just ignore them as best as you can. They'll get bored eventually and move on to somebody else. Um, you know, just and on the case of YouTube, just just block them, report whatever they're doing to the site, um, and just you know, just move on with this. After that event, uh, I went up to him again and I told him, "Look, I don't, I don't want these, I don't want these kids to be bothering me anymore because that's what they are. They are nothing but spoiled, rotten kids. They're trying." To push my buttons they're you know it's really upsetting me can you do something about it and at that point i think they uh, i think um I, I i couldn't remember their names and i still can't remember their names to this day um but i pretty much pointed out who who bother, who's bothering me and i pointed out the ginger and i pointed out it was somebody else um who owned the i want to eat the cow uh, and i pointed him out and, you know, pretty much told them, stop bothering me. <sighs> Unfortunately, it didn't end there. You know, they, they kept, after like a few days of peace and quiet, you know, throughout the break or throughout some breaks, I would, um, you know, sneak in a, a power nap. So, you know, th there was a few times where I would just sneak in a power nap. But uh, unfortunately, that I couldn't. I couldn't even do that. They started drawing things on my fucking jacket. Uh, uh, fortunately, my jacket was black, but they started drawing things inside of my jacket, which was red. So they started drawing uh, dick pictures and you know shit like that. So or or yeah, whatever, um, and. You know, it, it was it was very, it was really, really bad. I didn't really notice until I got home, taking off my jacket, and I noticed, oh, what the fuck is this? Fucking assholes are drawing dick pictures and shit on my fucking jacket. And they would go and fucking take pictures of it on their phone or, you know, take a video of it on their phone while I was there taking my power nap uh, and just fucking send it to YouTube. Or you know, put it on YouTube. You know, I would always report the video, tell them, hey, I didn't give them permission to show my face. This is clearly harassment. Can you take this video down? I don't know if those videos are still up, but if they are, I'm definitely going to take them down uh, immediately uh, because they didn't. They do not have permission to show my face. They do not have permission to say my name. And it's showing harassment. So they need to take these videos down um, and delete the channel. Or I'm going to delete the channel. So, you know, something that's going to happen pretty much this weekend. <clears throat> the last straw was when... Um, When they they, uh, they they pretty much threw a tray at me. Or, well, when I mean that, the guy pretended to trip. Because I knew he was coming behind me. He got up with his tray, went behind me. There wasn't a trash can over there. The trash can was on the other side. He went up, went behind me, and just dumped, my fuck, uh, dumped his tray right on my fucking jacket. And, you know, it was at that point where I was done. I grabbed him by the shirt and I told him, you're going to wash this jacket. Uh, you're, we're going to take a trip over to the administrator sitting over there. You're going to explain to him what you did and why you did it. And then you're not going to mess with me again. Do you understand? He pretty much understood at that point and stopped bothering me. 
And I think a lot of the people at the table was just was was like, <laughs> what a loser. So, you know, I, I was I was very very fed up. I was I was done. What was worse was that they attempted to frame me. They attempted to get me arrested. They attempted to get me put in jail. What they did is that they they um, faked a shooting threat and said that I was going to bring a gun to school. I, even though I said nothing like that. You know, I was put in... I didn't even know until, you know, later that day, but... I was put in in-school suspension for about three hours. So, but, you know, about four, about five hours of my life was wasted because of that. But, you know, uh, during the third hour, um, I was brought up to the administrator. Um, and him and the, uh, the security guard that works at the school, or at least the security guard did, uh, opened my bag, took out everything, and did a search. If they had found any kind of weapon, I would I most likely would not be here today. Uh, but because they didn't, um, you know, because they didn't, I'm still here. I'm able to tell this story. So then the kid that I told to not mess with me was the kid that told them that I threatened to bring a gun to school. I never saw that kid ever again uh, because I'm pretty sure that was the kid that got expelled for falsifying that report. Um, so I think after that moment, they stopped bothering. Because I was done. I told the administrator, I'm done with this. I want something to happen now. Not next week when they do something else. Not tomorrow when I'll probably get pushed to the point where, you know, I'm, I might get into a fight. Not next year when they might push me to the point where I might just end up committing suicide. I want it done now, or when I go home, I'm going to tell my parents what happened today and what's been happening for the past two months. And I can assure you, there will be a few people arrested. It'll be my mom and my dad. Why? Because I could assure you that the entire school will be out in the hallway wondering why a very loud and rude man is yelling at the principal of the school, asking why his son is being framed and is being harassed by these idiots, by these children. And my mom would probably be there screaming at the same time. Ye and at that point, the administrator agreed and said, you know what, you're right. We don't want any parents screaming at the principal or any of us. We don't really want this to escalate into something else. I will assure you, I will assure to you that these, ki uh, that these uh, people do not mess with you anymore. The next day, I was moved out of the classroom. Or, no, no, no. I wasn't moved out of the classroom. They were moved out of the classroom. The ginger and uh, a few other kids were moved out of the classroom. It was him and his uh, two other people that was part of his posse to, you know, get to me. They were moved out of the classroom and... I was pretty much good to go. 
I was not messed with ever again. Throughout the school, I just became more popular and popular. I've gained a few relationships, or at least I've gained one notable relationship the next year. Uh, and then, you know, a few other relationships throughout that year, and then my senior year, and then here I am now. So, what did I learn through this? Well, I learned that I could pretty much use my parents as a threat. Because, you know, any parent would be upset to find out that their child has been bullied for two months and has been asking the school for the past month for this to stop. I was fed up to the point where I was about to just tell my parents what was going on. I was done. I was finished. I wanted no more of this. I, I didn't want to be harassed anymore. I didn't want these people to bother me anymore. I didn't want this... thing to go on to the point where I might have ended up doing something. So they, he, he, here's a quick sum, summary of the, uh, of the timeline of the things that could have happened. They attempted to get me to delete my channel because that was pretty much their intention to, uh, from the start. And when they couldn't do that, they attempted to kill me by harassing me to the point where I was fed up to where I was just getting more and more upset to the point where I may have ended up committing suicide. And when they couldn't kill me, they attempted to put me in jail or to put me in prison by framing me. And then after that, they knew they couldn't get rid of one Death Eater. I'm still here. I'm still making videos. So, all in all, what have I learned through this experience? Well, for one, you can't kill that doesn't want, or well, you, you cannot kill what can't be killed. You can't kill me just because you don't like me. You can't put me in jail over something that's not true. You can't get me to delete my channel because that's never going to happen. Because guess what? I know better. I'm not 15 or 16. I'm 26. I know how to block people. I know how YouTube works. And I know for a fact that if YouTube doesn't do something about it, my sheriff's office will. And guess what? The sheriff's office will put people to jail, in jail. Harassment's a crime, in case you didn't know. And online harassment is exactly that. It's harassment. Harassment's a crime, in case you didn't know. And that's all I really have to say about that. So, all in all, self. And I do apologize this video is taking, is taking pretty long, so I'll just go ahead and end it off here. Hopefully the next story isn't as long. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave me a like. And if you're new to the channel, leave me a subscribe. If you've watched this far uh, in the video, then I very much appreciate, you know, the effort into wanting to watch this 35 minute video. So again, I do apologize about that. And uh, I haven't received my um, wheel stand yet, but I think it's expecting me right now. So 
I'm going to get on that. And then tomorrow we will go ahead and set up the wheel stand on stream. And then Friday, um, hopefully Friday, I'll get my wheel and then we'd be good. So I'll be pretty happy. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.